Jubei, I told you not to kill. Why did you do this? I had no choice. They said Avatar is anime. Everyone has a choice. Now we must. Kung Fu fight! I knew you wouldn't kill me, so I used this info against you, as knowing is half the battle! You must always win, no matter what! Let your pop die remind you of this! The Yagyu clan will be the strongest samurai in Japan! But won't I be worse at fighting with only one eye? In kung fu movies, the best guys are the old guy or the blind guy. And you're halfway there, boy. I don't need your advice. I'm different than you. You're not me. Swords used wrong kill people. You must win without them. A Yagyu warrior knows the value of life. Now go, Jubei, like the prodigal son in the Bible. In the distant future to Moses, the Nobunaga's ambition days or whatever, swords are like guns to cowboys. And we're gonna skip the history lesson about these samurai they made video game characters off of in the 90s. Mune Nori Yagyu was a big shot in the Tokugawa thing, even though Tokugawa did a lot of evil, and his son Jubei was said to be the reincarnation of the originator of the Yagyu clan. What is he, Kagome from Inuyasha? And so, as Onui tells Yataro how to catch fish like she's the player and he's Pac-Man in Pac-Man 2 on Sega, Jubei has Vietnam flashbacks of the kids he found chopped up in the last episode. Help Jubei, there's a snake! It's not a poison type, its bite only makes you bleed. She's not scared of snakes, she's just into you! So what? Since when did a guy liking a girl become hate? Being normal is a crime in the 120 days of Sodom, and Reddit! And so, Yushin Sangoguishi comes by Yagyu Castle, and it's a dump as Jubei isn't taking care of it. But it's not as bad as those guys on the Learning Channel, who save jars of their waste. Then his kids come by, and it's the kids Jubei is with. A samurai daughter killing snakes and playing in the mud? If you want to level up, you gotta kill bigger things. Those snakes give little experience. And Yataro, you're the hero of this clan's name in catching fish? Don't we have slaves for that? No big deal. The Tokugawas are stable, and there's no war now. That's what they said in the 90s between the Soviets and New York. And so, Ohina cheers up Jushin with the fish his kids caught. And he kinda has a thing for her, even though he's old enough to be her great-grandpa. So Jensen, are you related to Jensen Thunder Liger, the 80s Gonagi anime biomech? Probably, but I came to bring back Ohina and Onui to that place or something. Uh, but I want to stay with Jubei. He's dreamy and could totally beat an elephant in a deathmatch. Yorinobu Tokugawa said so, and he's a ruler, like in Korea, or China, or England. He wants all unmarried daughters of noble family from 15 to 22, or the ages of Serena and Darien. So is he gonna go La Blue Girl on him? I was not told, so I'ma believe the ruler and his goons over my own brain and the facts. It's not like rulers can be evil and lusty and into demon worship. Also, he's gonna raise taxes, build his army, and have various unknown guests to his castle. But that probably has nothing to do with him getting all these teens to come to his home, or the girls missing in the area. Sounds suspect. You better leave the girls here. I might, but he asked me to do it. And I'm gonna be following orders. Besides, it's paranoid to suspect someone rich and powerful of something like that. I'm sure it's only rumors. And so, the next day, the chicks show off their kung fu skills, and it's pretty cool. Especially as the chicks are cool and likable characters, instead of malcontent feminists whining about how they think they're oppressed. Nice having you here. Take a bath every three days and change them to clean clothes. You ought to follow your own advice to find a good husband. Unless you fall for a guy who likes spicy bits. But when I was like eight, you said you'd marry me. We'd be like Goku and Chi-Chi without that wiener Gohan. 
I don't remember that, so it's non-canon. He'd rather marry a princess with a huge, thick butt. Actually, I prefer huge, heavy udders. Stay a virgin! It prevents AIDS and lets you survive horror movies! Tasai, send Sanjiro to the castle in the area the chicks are going. Also, I'll be gone for five days, so take care of things for me. One scene where this big, devolved-looking guy named Inshun goes Nami SOS on Ohina and licks her left chest. Then she blows apart in a spray of blood as I guess his man thing was hulked out like an abomination. Then, Mateman goes on Shinobi 3 on the ninja spies there. You can't tell the authorities if I chop you up. No survivors means no witnesses. <laughs> I wanted to chop up guys for a while. Now for some Monomode Araki action. But Araki died months ago. That was true. But I got an extra guy, so I got better! They'd return! Don't worry, I'm gonna be okay. I ate a hospital planet! They must be good, go to you. Yori Nobu is getting loaned into a small army and funding it. There's also weird monsters and guys who bit it but are alive now, like Inshun, Botaru, and Matemon. That's not possible. Were you drunk? Never. Alcohol kills more than AIDS. So if I wanted to live, I'd better get AIDS. <coughs> if we had Jubei, we could win. No, I banished him. Then play DDR and resummon him. And so, Jubei meets a geezer who says Satan might come back because of Amakusa and the Christian thing, which is pretty non-canon, as the real Amakusa was a saint who had never joined evil. Might as well have Joan of Arc team up with Odin to fight the Frenchies. I'm tired of chopping people up. That's only fun in Strider on Sega. I lost count of how many guys I iced, and my dad let me go. And so, the geezer tells Jubei to relax and take a break, and go see Miyamoto Musashi, who had similar issues and was in the battle in OVA-1. Could I beat Jubei? One way to find out. Drawing! So, Sori Kenmori, who hasn't even been in this OVA until the last scene, has a weird moon ritual where Ocho spazzes out while not wearing a bra and barfs smoke. That goes from holy to unholy, then goes back in her mouth with her nips out. Then, the thing moves around in her and stretches her out like some deviant art thing, and tentacles come out of her body and tie up guys. Man, this is like a dozen fetishes in one. It's like Apocalypse Zero. Then, she Lips open and Amakusa crawls out of her with platinum tentacle hair. And it's totally not like with Griffith in Berserk. Time to tear up the town, boys. I learned this from Abashiri family and, wait, why don't I have man parts? You don't need them. You won't be bleeding. I didn't use them in my first life. I still want them. By the way, what do you want for prone hounds? <laughs> 